Listen and practice. Conversation 1. Hi, can you take me to the airport? Sure thing. What airline are you flying with? I'm flying with Delta. Okay, I know exactly where to drop you off. Thanks. So how long have you been a taxi driver? I've been driving a taxi for about 10 years now. Wow, that's a long time. What do you like about it? I enjoy meeting new people every day and hearing their stories. Plus, I get to explore the city and see new places. That sounds interesting. Have you ever had any unusual experiences while driving a taxi? Oh, plenty. I've had passengers who were in a hurry to get to a job interview, people who were heading to the hospital for emergency treatment, and even celebrities who wanted to remain incognito. That must be exciting. What's the busiest time of day for you? It depends on the day of the week, but generally the busiest time is during rush hour when people are commuting to and from work. I see. Do you have any advice for tourists visiting the city? Definitely. I always recommend checking out the local museums and trying the local cuisine. And if you're not sure where to go, just ask me. I know all the best spots. That's great to know. Do you ever get lost while driving? It happens occasionally, but I always have a GPS system to guide me. And if I'm not sure where I'm going, I'll ask for directions. That's smart. So, what's your favorite thing about being a taxi driver? Honestly, it's the sense of freedom and independence. I can set my own hours and be my own boss. I can see how that would be appealing. Well, we're here at the airport. How much do I owe you? That'll be $45. Thanks for riding with me and have a safe flight. Conversation 2 Welcome to the public library. How can I assist you today? Hi there. I'm interested in getting a library card. Excellent. Do you have a form of identification with your current address? Yes, I have my driver's license. Perfect. Let me fill out this form for you, and we'll get you a library card. Thank you so much. Here you go, your library card is now active. You can check out up to 10 items at a time, including books, audiobooks, and DVDs. That's great. Can you show me where to find the fiction section? Sure thing. Follow me, and I'll take you there. This is such a huge library. How do I find what I'm looking for? You can use our online catalog to search for specific books, or you can ask any of our librarians for assistance. We're here to help. Thanks for the information. I'm also interested in attending some of the library's events. Do you have any coming up? Yes, we have a book club meeting next week and a storytelling event for children the following weekend. That sounds fun. Do I need to sign up or register for these events? No, they're open to anyone who wants to attend. Just show up at the designated time and you're good to go. Perfect, I'll definitely come to the book club meeting. Thanks again for all your help. Of course, happy to assist. Is there anything else I can help you with today? No, that's all for now. Have a great day. You too, happy reading. Thanks, 
I'm excited to explore all the library has to offer. Conversation 3 Hi, there, what kind of fish do you have available today? Today we have salmon, trout, and tilapia. Which one are you interested in? I'll take a pound of salmon, please. Great, would you like it filleted or whole? Filleted, please. Okay, that'll be ten dollars. Do you need anything else? Yes, I also need some vegetables to go with the fish. We have some fresh green beans and carrots today. Would you like some of those? Sure, I'll take a bunch of green beans and a bag of carrots. Okay, that'll be five dollars for the vegetables. Would you like them cleaned and cut? Yes, please. All right, that'll be an extra two dollars. Your total comes to seventeen dollars. Great, here's the money. Thanks. Thank you. Have a great day. Conversation 4 Hi, I was wondering if I could schedule some time to talk to you about my work progress? Of course. How about we schedule a meeting for next Wednesday at 10 a.m.? Sounds good, thanks. I wanted to discuss my current tasks and goals and get your feedback on how I'm doing. Great. Let's start by going over your current tasks. How are you finding them? Some of them are going well, but I've been struggling with a couple of the more complex projects. Okay, can you give me an example of one of the more complex projects you're working on? Sure, I'm currently working on the marketing plan for our new product line, and I'm having trouble figuring out how to target our ideal customers. I see. Well, have you looked at any data to help you identify who our target market is? Yes, I've looked at our customer demographics, but I'm still unsure of how to reach them effectively. Okay, let's take some time to review the data together and brainstorm some ideas. How about we schedule a follow-up meeting next week to go over your progress? That sounds like a good plan. Also, I was wondering if you could give me some feedback on my performance so far? Of course. Overall, I think you've been doing a good job. Your attention to detail is impressive and you're a good team player. However, I've noticed that you sometimes struggle with meeting deadlines. Is there anything I can do to help you stay on track? Thank you for the feedback. I think I can benefit from more guidance on how to manage my time better. That's a good idea. Let's work on creating a plan together to help you manage your workload more effectively. And don't hesitate to reach out to me if you need any help or support. Thanks, I appreciate it. Conversation 5 Hi. I'm looking for a good camera for taking pictures of my travels. Can you recommend something? Of course. What's your budget? I'm willing to spend around $500. Great, we have a few options in that range. Are you looking for a point and shoot or a more professional camera? I'm not a professional, but I do want something that takes high quality photos. In that case, I'd recommend a mirrorless camera. They're smaller than DSLRs but take great photos. That sounds good. Can you show me some models? Sure, here's one that's popular in your price range. It has fast autofocus and shoots in 4K. That looks good. But does it have a zoom lens? Yes, it comes with an 18 to 55 mm lens. But if you want more zoom, we have other lenses you can purchase separately. 
I think that lens is good for now. Can I try it out? Of course. Here's a memory card and battery. You can take some test shots in the store or outside. This feels good in my hands. And the photos look great on the screen. I'm glad you like it. Do you have any other questions? Actually, I'm going on a trip soon. Do you have any accessories that would be helpful? Yes, we have camera bags, tripods, and extra batteries. Would you like me to show you some options? Yes, please. And do you offer any warranty or repair services? Yes, we offer a one-year warranty on all our products. And if you ever need repairs, we have a service center in the city. That's good to know. I think I'll take the camera and the bag. How do I pay? You can pay at the register over there. And don't forget to fill out the warranty form before you leave. Thank you for your business. Conversation 6 Hi, can you help me with something? Of course, what can I assist you with? Yes, my room's air conditioning is not working properly. I'm sorry to hear that. Let me check the system and send someone to fix it. Thank you, I appreciate it. Is there anything else I can help you with? Yes, could you please provide some extra towels and toiletries? Sure, I will have them sent up to your room right away. Thanks a lot. Also, do you know if there are any good restaurants around here? Yes, there are a few good ones nearby. Let me recommend some to you. That would be great, thanks. You're welcome. Is there anything else I can do for you? No, that's all for now. Thank you for your help. You're welcome. Don't hesitate to let us know if you need anything else during your stay. Conversation 7 Excuse me, can you tell me where the emergency room is? Yes, of course. It's down the hall to your right. Are you feeling okay? No, I've been having some chest pains and shortness of breath. Okay, I'm going to take you to the emergency room right away. Do you have any allergies or medical conditions I should know about? No, not that I'm aware of. All right, please follow me and we'll get you some help right away. Thank you, I really appreciate it. Good afternoon, how are you feeling today? I'm feeling pretty terrible actually. I've had a fever for a few days now and my throat is really sore. I see. Have you been taking any medication for the fever? Yes, I've been taking some over-the-counter medication but it doesn't seem to be helping much. All right, well let's take a look at your throat. Can you open your mouth for me please? Sure. Hmm. It looks like you have a pretty bad case of tonsillitis. I'm going to prescribe some antibiotics for you to take. Okay, sounds good. And I also recommend getting plenty of rest and drinking lots of fluids. Thank you, doctor. I really appreciate your help. Conversation 8 Hey, are you ready for the party tonight? Yes, I'm really excited. Have you decided what to wear? Not yet, I'm still trying to figure it out. Do you have any suggestions? How about that new dress you bought last week? It looked great on you. Oh, that's a good idea. I'll try it on and see how it looks. Perfect. And don't forget to accessorize with some statement jewelry. 
Definitely, I have the perfect necklace that will go with it. Great. Is there anything else you need to do before we leave? I just need to do my hair and makeup. It shouldn't take too long. Take your time, I'll be ready by then. What time should we leave? The party starts at 8 p.m., so let's leave around 7.30 p.m. to be on time. Sounds good. Should we take a taxi or use public transportation? Let's take a taxi. It will be more convenient and faster. Agreed. I'll book one in advance so we don't have to wait. Thanks, that's a good idea. Do you know how long the party will last? The invitation didn't mention an end time, so it could go on late into the night. That's good to know. I'll make sure to get enough rest beforehand. That's a wise plan. We want to have enough energy to enjoy the party. Absolutely. I'm really looking forward to catching up with our friends. Me too. It's been a while since we've all gotten together. Well, let's make it a night to remember. Ready to have some fun? Absolutely. Let's go and make some unforgettable memories. Conversation 9 Good morning. Are you waiting for the bus too? Yes, I am. It's quite crowded here today, isn't it? Definitely. I hope the bus arrives soon. I don't want to be late for work. Me neither. I have an important meeting this morning. Which bus are you waiting for? I'm waiting for bus number 205. It should take me to the city center. Oh, that's the same bus I need to take. Looks like we're on the same route. That's great. It's always nice to have someone to chat with during the commute. I agree. It helps make the journey more enjoyable. So, where do you work? I work at Zebra Corporation. How about you? I work at Pamizi Company. It seems we're in the same industry. That's interesting. We might have some common experiences to share then. Absolutely. So, what do you do at Zebra Corporation? I'm a software engineer. I develop software applications for our clients. That's impressive. I work in the marketing department at Pamizi Company. Marketing is a crucial aspect of any business. How do you like your job? I enjoy it. It's challenging yet rewarding. I get to work on exciting campaigns and interact with clients. That sounds fascinating. Do you have any tips for someone new to the marketing field? Sure. One important tip is to stay updated with the latest marketing trends and technologies. It helps to be creative and analytical in this field. Thanks for the advice. I'll keep that in mind. Oh, I think I see our bus approaching. Finally. Yes, I see it too. Let's get on board and find some seats together. Sounds like a plan. It was nice talking to you. We can continue our conversation on the bus. Absolutely. It was a pleasure chatting with you too. Let's find seats and settle in. Conversation 10 Hey, I'm new here. Is this where I sign up for a gym membership? Yes, you're at the right place. Welcome. I can help you with that. 
What kind of membership are you interested in? I'm looking for a monthly membership that gives me access to all the gym facilities and classes. Do you offer something like that? Absolutely. We have a monthly membership package that includes full access to all our gym equipment, group classes, and even the sauna and swimming pool. Let me explain the details. That sounds great. Can you also provide information on the membership fees and any additional costs? Of course. Our monthly membership is $50, and there is a one time enrollment fee of $25. We also offer personal training sessions at an additional cost if you're interested. Thank you for the information. I think I'll go ahead and sign up for the monthly membership. What documents do I need to provide? To sign up, we'll need your identification, such as a driver's license or passport, and some basic personal information. I'll prepare the membership form for you. Perfect. Here's my driver's license. How long does it take to process the membership? It usually takes just a few minutes to complete the paperwork and process the payment. Once that's done, you'll receive your membership card, and you'll be all set to start using the gym facilities. That's quick. Now, could you give me a brief tour of the gym and show me where everything is located? Absolutely. Let's start with the cardio area, where you'll find treadmills, ellipticals, and stationary bikes. We also have weightlifting equipment in the strength training section. Over there is the group fitness studio where various classes are held. Wow, you have a wide range of equipment and facilities. Do I need to bring my own towel or water bottle? We provide clean towels for our members, so you don't have to worry about that. However, it's a good idea to bring your own water bottle to stay hydrated during your workouts. That's convenient. Are there any specific rules or guidelines I should be aware of while using the gym? Yes, we have a few guidelines to ensure everyone's safety and a pleasant environment. We ask members to wipe down equipment after use, rear rack weights, and respect others by keeping noise levels to a minimum. There are also specific hours of operation you should be aware of. I'll make sure to follow those guidelines. Are there any personal trainers available to assist with workout routines and provide guidance? Absolutely. We have experienced personal trainers who can help you develop a workout plan, provide guidance on proper techniques, and assist with achieving your fitness goals. Let me know if you'd like to schedule a session with a trainer. That's great to know. I'll definitely consider it. Thank you for your help and the tour. I'm excited to start my fitness journey here. You're welcome. We're glad to have you on board. If you have any questions or need assistance while using the gym, feel free to ask our staff. Enjoy your workouts! Conversation 11 Hi, the garden looks a bit messy. I think it's time for a cleanup. Would you like to help me? Sure, I'd be happy to help. Where should we start? Let's begin by removing any fallen leaves and debris from the garden beds. We can use rakes and garden gloves to make the task easier. That sounds like a good plan. Should we also trim the overgrown branches and shrubs? Absolutely. Trimming will give the garden a neater appearance. We'll need pruning shears and hedge trimmers for that. We should also check for any damaged plants that may need to be removed. Okay, I'll grab the pruning shears and hedge trimmers from the shed. 
While we're at it, should we also weed the flower beds and remove any unwanted plants? Yes, weeding is an important part of garden maintenance. It will help the flowers and other plants thrive. We can use hand tools like a trowel or a weeding fork to remove the weeds from the roots. I'll get the hand tools ready. Once we're done with that, should we mow the lawn and tidy up the edges? Definitely. A well-maintained lawn enhances the overall look of the garden. We'll need a lawnmower and an edger to trim the grass and define the edges. I'll make sure the lawnmower is in good working condition. While we're cleaning, should we also check the garden irrigation system? That's a good idea. We can inspect the sprinklers and make sure they're functioning properly. We should also check for any leaks or clogged nozzles. I'll take a look at the irrigation system and make any necessary adjustments. Should we consider adding fresh mulch to the garden beds? Yes, mulching is beneficial as it helps retain moisture and suppresses weed growth. We can spread a layer of mulch around the plants using a rake or a shovel. I'll bring a wheelbarrow and a shovel for the mulching. Once we've completed all the cleaning tasks, should we gather the garden waste and dispose of it properly? Absolutely. We'll need garden bags or bins to collect the waste. We can either compost it or dispose of it according to the local regulations. I'll get the garden bags ready, and we can decide whether we'll compost the waste or arrange for its proper disposal. Is there anything else we should do? After cleaning, it's a good idea to inspect the garden tools and equipment. We can clean them, sharpen any dull blades, and store them properly to ensure they're ready for future use. I'll gather the tools and equipment and give them a thorough cleaning. It's important to maintain them for longevity. Once everything is clean and organized, the garden will look great again. Thank you so much for your help. Cleaning the garden is always more enjoyable with some company. Let's get started. Conversation 12 The weather is beautiful today. How about going to the beach? That sounds like a great idea. I haven't been to the beach in a while. Which beach should we go to? How about the one we visited last summer? It had a nice stretch of sand and clear water. Do we need to pack anything specific for the beach? We should bring sunscreen, towels, beach chairs, and some snacks and drinks. Should we bring any beach games or activities? Yes, let's bring a beach volleyball and a frisbee. They're always fun to play with. What time should we leave for the beach? We should aim to leave around 10 a.m. That way, we'll have plenty of time to enjoy the day. How long does it take to drive to the beach? It usually takes about 45 minutes, depending on the traffic. So, we should leave early to avoid any delays. Do we need to pay for parking at the beach? Yes, there is a parking fee. We should bring some cash to cover that. What's the plan for lunch at the beach? We can pack some sandwiches, fruits, and snacks. It's always nice to have a beach picnic. Should we bring an umbrella for shade? Yes. It's a good idea to bring an umbrella or a beach tent to provide some shade during the hottest hours. What about swimming in the sea? Is it safe? The beach we're going to has lifeguards on duty, so it should be safe. 
but we should always be cautious and swim within designated areas. Can we rent beach chairs and umbrellas at the beach? Yes, there are rentals available. If we don't want to carry too much, we can consider renting chairs and umbrellas there. Do we need to bring any identification or beach permits? It's always good to have your ID with you. As for beach permits, I don't think we need any for this particular beach. Is there a nearby place to grab ice cream or a cold drink? Yes. There's a beachside cafe where we can get refreshments. It's just a short walk from the beach. What time should we start heading back? We should plan to leave the beach around 5 p.m. That way, we'll beat the traffic and still have some time to relax at home. I'm really looking forward to spending the day at the beach. Me too. It's going to be a fun and relaxing day. Conversation 13 Good morning. How did you sleep last night? Good morning. I slept well, thanks. How about you? Have you had breakfast yet? Yes, I had some toast and coffee. How about you? I'm planning to go for a run this morning. Care to join me? That sounds great. I'll join you. Let me change into my running gear. While we're out, we should stop by the grocery store. We need a few things. Sure, let's make a list of what we need before we head out. I received an email from our boss. We have a team meeting at 10 a.m. Thanks for letting me know. I'll make sure to be prepared for the meeting. Lunchtime. Shall we grab a bite to eat at the nearby cafe? Sounds good. I'm craving some sandwiches. Let's go. Did you finish that report we were working on? Yes. I completed it yesterday. I'll send it to our manager right away. I'm feeling a bit tired. Do you mind if we take a short break? Not at all. Let's take a few minutes to relax and stretch. I received a call from our colleague. They're running late for the meeting. No problem. We can start the meeting once they arrive. It's getting late. Shall we start wrapping up for the day? Agreed. Let's finish up our tasks and make sure everything is in order. I need to stop by the post office on my way home. Is there anything you need me to do there? Actually, yes. Can you drop off these letters for me? Thank you. What are your plans for the evening? I'm meeting a friend for dinner. How about you? I'll probably catch up on some reading or watch a movie at home. That sounds relaxing. Enjoy your evening. By the way, have you heard about the new cafe that opened in town? Yes, I have. I've been wanting to check it out. Maybe we can go there together sometime. I just remembered, tomorrow is our colleague's birthday. We should get a card and a small gift. That's a great idea. I'll make a note to pick those up on my way to the office tomorrow. Have you made any plans for the upcoming weekend? Not yet. I'm thinking of going hiking. How about you? I'm considering visiting the art museum. It's been a while since I went there. That sounds interesting. 
I might join you. Let me know the details. Don't forget, we have a training session scheduled for next week. Thank you for the reminder. I'll make sure to prepare for it. I'm feeling a bit stressed. Any suggestions for relaxation techniques? You can try deep breathing exercises or meditation. They usually help me relax. It's been a productive day. Let's call it a night and get some rest. Absolutely. Good night, and see you tomorrow. Conversation 14 Good morning. What can I get for you today? Good morning. Can I have a medium latte with almond milk, please? Of course, coming right up. Would you like a pastry or anything else to go with that? Hmm, how about a croissant? Great choice. That'll be $7.50, please. Here you go. Thank you. Your latte and croissant will be ready in just a few minutes. Thanks so much. This is a really cozy coffee shop you have here. Thank you. We tried to create a warm and welcoming atmosphere for our customers. I can definitely feel that. Do you have any recommendations for something new to try on the menu? Well, our seasonal pumpkin spice latte is always a popular choice this time of year. Or if you're feeling adventurous, you could try our lavender honey latte. Hmm, I think I'll stick with my usual for now, but the lavender honey latte sounds intriguing. Let me know if you change your mind. Here's your latte and croissant, enjoy. Thanks. This looks and smells amazing. Glad to hear it. Is there anything else I can get for you? Actually, can I have a glass of water too? Absolutely, I'll grab that for you right away. Thanks. By the way, do you have any outdoor seating? Yes, we have a few tables and chairs outside on the patio. Feel free to take your latte and croissant out there if you'd like. Perfect, thanks so much. I'll definitely be back again soon. Conversation 15 Welcome to the car wash. What type of service can I assist you with today? Hi, there, I would like a basic car wash. Great. Our basic wash includes a wash, rinse, and dry. Would you also like the wheels cleaned? Yes, please. Okay, that'll be $15. Please drive your car onto the conveyor belt, and we'll get started. Thank you. While we're washing your car, would you like to wait in our customer lounge or run some errands? I'll wait here, thanks. All right, your car is all done. Here's your keys. Wow, it looks so clean. Thanks so much. You're welcome. We also offer detailing services if you're interested in a more thorough cleaning. Not today, but maybe next time. Sounds good. Don't forget to ask about our loyalty program for frequent customers. Will do. How often do you recommend getting a car wash? It really depends on how frequently you use your car and the weather conditions. We usually recommend once a month as a general guideline. Okay, good to know. Thanks for the advice. No problem. Is there anything else I can help you with today? No, that's all. Thanks again for the great service.
You're welcome. Drive safely. Will do. Goodbye. Conversation 16. Hi, there. Welcome to our restaurant. Can I start you off with something to drink? Yes, please. I'll have a glass of water with lemon, please. Of course. And do you need a few more minutes to look over the menu or are you ready to order? I think I'm ready to order. What would you recommend for a vegetarian? Our vegetarian options include a hearty lentil soup, a veggie burger with avocado and sprouts, or a roasted vegetable plate with quinoa. Would any of those interest you? The roasted vegetable plate with quinoa sounds great. Can I substitute the quinoa for brown rice? Absolutely. And would you like any appetizers or a salad to start? I'll pass on the appetizers, but I'll have the house salad with the dressing on the side, please. Sure thing. And for your entree, would you like any sides with that? No, thank you. Just the roasted vegetable plate with brown rice. Okay, great. And can I confirm any dietary restrictions or allergies we should be aware of? Yes, actually. I'm allergic to peanuts and shellfish, so I need to make sure my food doesn't come in contact with either of those. Noted. We'll be sure to inform the kitchen staff to take extra precautions to avoid any cross-contamination. Thank you, I appreciate it. You're welcome. And is there anything else I can get for you? No, that's all for now. All right, I'll put in your order right away. Your salad should be out shortly, followed by your entree. Enjoy your meal. Conversation 17 Good morning, doctor. How are you? Good morning, I'm doing well. What can I help you with today? I've been feeling really tired lately and I have a persistent headache. I see. Have you been getting enough sleep and drinking enough water? Yes, I have been, but it doesn't seem to be helping. Okay, I'd like to do a physical examination and some blood work to see if there are any underlying issues. Okay, that sounds good to me. Great. Let's schedule a time for that and then we can discuss the results together. Sure, that works for me. In the meantime, I recommend getting some rest and taking it easy if possible. Okay, thank you for your help, doctor. You're welcome. It's important to take care of your health, so don't hesitate to reach out if you have any further concerns. Actually, there is one more thing. I've been experiencing some chest pains. Oh, that's definitely something we need to investigate further. Let's schedule some additional tests and get to the bottom of this. I appreciate your help, doctor. Of course, that's what I'm here for. It's important to catch these things early. I'm just worried it might be something serious. I understand your concern, but let's not jump to any conclusions until we have all the information. Okay, thank you for your reassurance. No problem. I'm here to support you in any way I can. Let's work together to find a solution. Conversation 18 Hey. Have you ever been to the mountains? Yeah, I've been a few times. Why do you ask? I was thinking of planning a trip with you. Do you want to come? Sure, that sounds like a lot of fun. When were you thinking of going? I was thinking of going next weekend. Would that work for you? Mm, I'm not sure. 
I have to check my schedule, but I might be able to make it. Great. So, what kind of equipment do we need for the trip? Well, we'll definitely need hiking boots, some warm clothes, and backpacks. And we should bring plenty of water and snacks. Okay, that sounds good. What about camping gear? Yeah, we'll need a tent, sleeping bags, and a portable stove to cook food. Do you have any of that stuff? No, I don't. But we can rent it from an outdoor store or buy it online. Good idea. And we should also make sure to have a first aid kit in case of any injuries. Right, safety first. Do you have any recommendations for the mountain we should go to? Well, it depends on what kind of hiking we want to do. There are a lot of great mountains with different levels of difficulty. I'm up for a challenge. How about we go for a more difficult hike? Okay, I know just the place. It's called Mount Baldy, and it's a pretty tough hike, but the views are amazing. Perfect, let's do it. I'm getting excited already. Me too. I can't wait to hit the trail and explore the mountain with you. Conversation 19 Hi, I'd like to order a large pepperoni pizza for delivery, please. Sure thing. Can I have your name and address for the delivery? My name is John and the address is 23 Main Street. Great, thank you. Will that be all for your order? Actually, could I also get an order of garlic bread and a two-liter bottle of Coke, please? Of course. We have a special deal where you can get garlic bread for half off when you order a pizza. Would you like to take advantage of that? Sure, that sounds good to me. All right, I have your order for a large pepperoni pizza, garlic bread, and a two-liter Coke for delivery to 23 Main Street under the name John. Your total comes to $23.50. Is that okay? Yes, that's fine. Great, your order will be delivered in about 30 minutes. Thank you for choosing our pizza shop. Thank you. I can't wait to enjoy it. Conversation 20 Good morning. How did you sleep? Good morning. I slept well, thanks. How about you? Not bad. Did you have breakfast already? Yes, I had some cereal and fruit at home. What about you? I grabbed a bagel and coffee on the way here. Nice. I need to start doing that too, I'm always running late in the mornings. Yeah, it definitely helps to plan ahead. Did you hear about the meeting we have this morning? No, what meeting? The one with the new client. It's at 10 a.m. in the conference room. Oh, right. I remember seeing that on my calendar. I need to prepare for that. Same here. I'm going to review the proposal one more time before the meeting. Sounds like a plan. Are you ready for the presentation next week? Not yet, but I have most of the research done. I just need to put the slides together. Let me know if you need any help. I'm pretty good with PowerPoint. Thanks, I appreciate it. What about you, do you have any big projects coming up? Not really, just some ongoing tasks. But I'm hoping to take on some more challenging work soon. That's a good attitude to have. I'm sure you'll get there. Thanks, I hope so. By the way, did you hear about the new coffee place that opened up near here? No, I haven't. 
Is it any good? Yeah, I stopped by yesterday and it's really nice. We should check it out sometime after work. Conversation 21 Good morning, please have a seat. Thank you for coming in today. Good morning. It's my pleasure. Thank you for inviting me. Let's start by discussing your previous work experience. Can you tell me about your most recent role? Certainly. In my previous role, I worked as a project manager for a software development company. I was responsible for leading a team and ensuring project deliverables were met within the given timeline. That sounds impressive. What would you say was your biggest achievement in that role? One of my biggest achievements was successfully completing a complex project that had tight deadlines and a high level of stakeholder involvement. I effectively managed the team, resolved challenges, and delivered the project on time and within budget. Excellent. Now, let's talk about your skills and qualifications. How would you describe your problem-solving abilities? I consider problem-solving to be one of my strengths. I am analytical, detail-oriented, and resourceful. I approach problems by identifying the root causes and exploring creative solutions to overcome challenges. That's great to hear. In this role, you'll be working with cross-functional teams. Can you tell me about your experience collaborating with others? Collaboration is essential in my work. I have a proven track record of working effectively with team members from various departments and disciplines. I value open communication, active listening, and fostering a positive team environment. Excellent. Now, let's discuss your knowledge of our industry. What attracted you to this position and our company? I've been following your company for quite some time, and I am impressed with its innovative approach and commitment to excellence. The opportunity to contribute my skills and be part of such a dynamic team is what attracted me the most. That's great to hear. Now, let's move on to discuss your career goals. Where do you see yourself in the next five years? In the next five years, I envision myself taking on more leadership responsibilities and contributing to the growth and success of the company. I am dedicated to continuous learning and professional development to enhance my skills and expertise. That's a great goal. Lastly, do you have any questions for me or anything else you'd like to add? Yes, I have a few questions about the company culture and potential growth opportunities. Also, I want to emphasize my strong work ethic, commitment to quality, and passion for this field. I'm glad you asked. I will provide you with more information, and I appreciate your enthusiasm and dedication. We will be in touch soon. Thank you for the opportunity. I look forward to hearing from you. Have a great day. You're welcome. Thank you, and have a great day too. Conversation 22 Hi, I'm Sarah. Are you a friend of the bride or the groom? Hi Sarah, nice to meet you. I'm Alex. I'm a friend of the groom. How about you? I'm a friend of the bride. This venue is absolutely stunning, isn't it? Yes, it's breathtaking. The decorations and ambience are perfect for a wedding. Have you been to many weddings before? Yes, I've attended a few. How about you? Any memorable wedding experiences? Well, I once attended a destination wedding in Hawaii. It was such a unique experience, surrounded by beautiful scenery. That sounds amazing. Speaking of which, 
Have you met any interesting people at this wedding? Yes, I've met a few interesting individuals. I've been chatting with some of the groom's college friends, and they have some hilarious stories to share. That's great. It's always fun to meet new people and hear their stories. So, what's your favorite part of weddings? I'd have to say the dancing. I love hitting the dance floor and celebrating with everyone. How about you? I agree, dancing is so much fun. But I also enjoy seeing the bride and groom exchange their vows. It's such a special moment. Absolutely, it's a beautiful and emotional moment for sure. Oh, look, they're about to cut the wedding cake. Yes, let's head over to the cake table. I'm curious to see the design they chose. Me too. I've heard it's a three-tiered cake with a floral design. I'm sure it'll be delicious. I hope so. By the way, have you tried any of the appetizers or drinks? The food here is usually excellent. Not yet, but I've heard great things about the catering. I'll make sure to grab some appetizers and try the signature cocktail later. Sounds like a plan. Oh, there's the DJ starting to play some music. Let's join the others on the dance floor. Absolutely. Let's dance and have a great time celebrating the newlyweds. I couldn't agree more. It's such a joyous occasion. Cheers to love and happiness. Cheers. Here's to a fantastic evening filled with joy and memories. Let's make the most of it. Conversation 23 Hi, I've been thinking about starting my own small business. Do you have any experience or advice in that area? Absolutely. I actually started my own small business a few years ago. I'd be happy to share some insights and tips with you. What kind of business are you interested in starting? I'm considering opening a bakery specializing in artisan bread and pastries. I have a passion for baking and want to turn it into a business. Where should I begin? That's a great idea. To start, you'll need to create a business plan. It will outline your goals, target market, financial projections, and marketing strategies. It's a crucial step in setting a strong foundation for your business. That makes sense. I'll start working on a business plan right away. What about legal requirements and permits? It's important to research the legal requirements for starting a bakery in your area. You may need to obtain permits and licenses, such as a food handler's permit and a business license. Check with your local government or small business association for specific regulations. I'll definitely look into that. How about funding the business? Do you have any suggestions on securing startup capital? Funding can be obtained through various sources. You can consider self-funding by using your savings or approaching family and friends for investment. Additionally, you can explore small business loans from banks or consider crowdfunding platforms to raise capital. Thanks for the advice. I'll explore those options and see what works best for me. What about finding a suitable location for the bakery? Location is crucial for a bakery. Look for areas with high foot traffic or near residential neighborhoods. Consider the size of the space, parking availability, and accessibility for customers. Also, negotiate a favorable lease agreement to keep your expenses in check. I'll keep those factors in mind while searching for a location. 
What marketing strategies do you recommend to attract customers? Marketing is essential to promote your bakery. Start by creating a visually appealing website and engaging social media profiles. Offer tastings and discounts during the initial period, and don't forget to collaborate with local influencers or food bloggers for exposure. I'll work on establishing a strong online presence and leveraging social media to reach potential customers. Do you have any advice on managing finances and keeping track of expenses? It's crucial to maintain accurate financial records from the start. Consider using accounting software or hiring an accountant to help with bookkeeping, tax filings, and financial planning. Regularly review your expenses and revenue to ensure profitability. I'll definitely prioritize financial management and seek professional assistance if needed. How about hiring staff for the bakery? As your business grows, you may need to hire employees. Clearly define the roles and responsibilities you need and conduct thorough interviews to find the right fit. Provide proper training and foster a positive work environment to retain talented staff. I'll keep that in mind when the time comes to expand my team. Is there anything else I should be aware of when starting a small business? It's essential to stay adaptable and open to learning from the challenges you may face. Network with other business owners, attend industry events, and seek mentorship to gain valuable insights and guidance along the way. That's valuable advice. I'll make sure to keep a growth mindset and seek support from experienced professionals. Thank you for sharing your expertise. You're welcome. I wish you the best of luck with your bakery. Starting a small business can be challenging, but with dedication and passion, it can also be incredibly rewarding. Don't hesitate to reach out if you have any more questions. Conversation 24 Hey, my car has been acting up lately. I think it needs some repairs. Do you have any experience with car maintenance? Yes, I do. I've had some experience with car repairs. What seems to be the problem with your car? I've noticed some strange noises coming from the engine, and the car is not running as smoothly as it used to. I'm worried something might be wrong. I understand your concern. It's best to get it checked by a professional mechanic. I can recommend a reliable auto repair shop in the area if you'd like. That would be great. I want to make sure I take my car to a trusted place. Can you give me the contact information for the shop? Of course. Here's the contact information AG Car Auto Repair Shop. They have a good reputation for quality service and fair pricing. Thank you so much for the recommendation. I'll call them to schedule an appointment. In the meantime, is there anything I should check or do before taking the car in? It's a good idea to check the fluid levels, such as the engine oil, coolant, and brake fluid. Also, Inspect the tires for any signs of wear or low pressure. Make a note of any specific issues you've noticed to discuss with the mechanic. I'll do that. I want to provide the mechanic with as much information as possible. How about the cost of repairs? Do you have any idea how much it might cost? It's difficult to estimate without knowing the exact problem. Once the mechanic diagnoses the issue, they will provide you with an estimate for the repairs. It's always a good idea to ask for a breakdown of the costs before giving the go-ahead. That makes sense. 
I'll make sure to get a detailed estimate and ask about any additional costs or parts that may be needed. I want to avoid any surprises. That's a smart approach. It's also a good idea to inquire about any warranties on the repairs or parts used. It can give you peace of mind knowing you're covered if any issues arise. I'll definitely ask about warranties. It's important to have that protection. Once the repairs are done, how often should I bring my car in for regular maintenance? Regular maintenance is crucial for keeping your car in good condition. Generally, it's recommended to have an oil change every 3,000 to 5,000 miles or as specified in your car's manual. Regular checkups, tire rotations, and brake inspections are also important. I'll make a note of that. I want to make sure I stay on top of regular maintenance to prevent any major issues. Thank you for all your guidance and advice. You're welcome. I'm glad I could help. Taking care of your car is essential for its longevity and performance. If you have any more questions, feel free to ask. Conversation 25 I've been thinking about getting a smartwatch. They seem pretty useful. What do you think? I agree. Smartwatches have a lot of cool features. Which brand or model are you considering? I've heard good things about the latest Apple Watch. It has a lot of fitness tracking capabilities that I'm interested in. That's a popular choice. Have you checked out any other brands? There are some great options from Samsung and Fitbit too. I'm mainly looking for fitness tracking and notifications. Which smartwatch offers the best features in those areas? Well, the Apple Watch and Fitbit smartwatches are known for their excellent fitness tracking capabilities. While Samsung offers a good balance between fitness features and general smartwatch functionality. How about battery life? I don't want to be charging it constantly. Generally, smartwatches need to be charged every day or every other day. Some models, like the Fitbit Versa, have longer battery life, lasting up to 4-5 days on a single charge. What about the price range? Are smartwatches expensive? It depends on the brand and model. Apple watches tend to be on the higher end, while there are more affordable options from other brands. It's a good idea to compare prices and features before making a decision. Do you know any stores where I can buy a smartwatch? You can check out electronic stores like Best Buy, or you can browse online retailers like Amazon or the official websites of the respective brands. Should I consider the size and design of the smartwatch? Absolutely. Smartwatches come in different sizes and designs, so it's important to find one that fits comfortably on your wrist and matches your personal style. I've heard that some smartwatches offer the ability to make calls and send messages. Is that true? Yes, that's correct. Certain smartwatches have cellular connectivity, allowing you to make calls and send messages directly from your wrist, even if your phone is not nearby. That sounds convenient. I'll definitely look into that feature. Are there any other features I should consider? Some smartwatches offer GPS tracking, music storage, contactless payments, and even sleep tracking. It's worth exploring all the features to find the one that suits your needs. How about compatibility with my smartphone? I have an Android phone. Most smartwatches are compatible with both Android and iOS devices, but it's always a good idea to double-check the compatibility before making a purchase. 
Do you have any personal recommendations for a smart watch? I personally use the Apple Watch and find it to be a great overall smart watch with excellent integration with my iPhone. But it really depends on your preferences and smartphone ecosystem. Thanks for all the information. I think I have a better idea now. I'll do some research and make a decision soon. You're welcome. Take your time, read reviews, and compare features to make an informed choice. Let me know if you have any more questions. Conversation 26 What time should we meet for dinner tonight? How about 7 p.m.? Does that work for you? Sounds good. Let's meet in the hotel lobby at 7 p.m. Which restaurant in the hotel should we dine at? I heard the hotel's main restaurant has a great selection. Let's try that one. Perfect. I've heard good things about their menu too. Do we need to make a reservation? It's always a good idea to make a reservation, especially during busy hours. I'll call and book a table for two. Are there any specific dietary preferences or restrictions we should consider? I'm vegetarian, so I prefer a restaurant with vegetarian options. How about you? I eat everything, so I'm open to any cuisine. Great. I'll make sure the restaurant has vegetarian choices. What type of cuisine are you in the mood for? I'm in the mood for something spicy. How about trying the hotel's Indian restaurant? That sounds delicious. Let's go for Indian cuisine tonight. Should we dress up for dinner? The hotel has a smart casual dress code for its restaurants. Let's dress nicely but not overly formal. Is there a specific dress code for the Indian restaurant? They mentioned on their website that smart casual attire is preferred, so we should be fine. Do you know if the hotel offers any dinner packages or promotions? I'm not sure, but I can check their website or ask the concierge when we meet for dinner. How about we meet a little earlier and have a drink at the hotel's bar before dinner? That sounds like a great idea. Let's meet at the hotel bar around 6.30 p.m. What's the estimated duration for dinner? It's hard to say, but I'd plan for around two hours to enjoy a relaxed meal and conversation. Do we need to consider any COVID-19 safety measures at the restaurant? Yes. We should expect some safety protocols like mask wearing when not seated and social distancing. I'm looking forward to trying the hotel's signature dishes. Me too. I've heard they have some unique and delicious specialties. If we enjoy our dinner, we can leave a positive review for the restaurant. Definitely. It's always nice to show appreciation for good dining experiences. Should we order desserts after our main course? Absolutely. I have a sweet tooth, so I'm definitely up for trying their desserts. Don't forget to bring your room key, as they may ask for it when we charge the dinner to our room. Thanks for reminding me. I'll make sure to have it with me. Shall we invite our colleagues to join us for dinner? Not this time. Let's keep it as a casual dinner just for the two of us. I think it's time to head to the lobby. Our reservation should be ready soon. Let's go. I'm excited for a great dinner experience.